will demonstrate this odds ratio and relative risk. So if you, the first is the uh, risk estimation is the odds ratio. So if you want to determine whether the smoking status has any association with the oxygen requirement at admission, and if it is associated with what uh, amount of this association. So I have to uh, do the odds ratio between smoking status and the oxygen requirement at the time of admission. So I'll go back to this data set. Again, the options are same. If you see, I'll go, this is the data. So I will go to this analyze. Again, this is the frequency. Here you can see it will be like contingency table only. But here you can see, you can see that this is the uh, odds ratio and relative risk. So for odds ratio, maybe oxygen requirement versus uh, smoking status. So smoking will be an independent so I have done this smoker as a row and this column is the oxygen requirement. So oxygen requirement, severity, oxygen one. So this is oxygen one. Uncheck this chi-square. Then you can click this odds ratio. You can click this row wise percentages also because in two by two table, you have to make the row wise percentages. So here you can see the risk is 0.461. And if you see just before you see the risk and you have to see whether it is significant or not, but since it is crossing one, it is not significant. This odds ratio with its 95% confidence interval. If you focus on this two by two table, can you see here that 31.1%. So this is the oxygen requirement, no and yes. And this is smoker, no. So if I focus on this, yes. So maybe if you see here, So 17.2% of people who are smoker, they are requiring the oxygen. Whereas the non-smoker, they are requiring uh, more uh, like 31.1% of the people, they are requiring oxygen. So it's the other way around. That's why this odds ratio is the odds. So it tells you the reference category is the lower one. That means it tells you the odds of oxygen requirement in the smoker as compared to the non-smoker because non-smoker has been taken as a zero category. So it tells you the odds of oxygen requirement in smoker as compared to non-smoker. You can calculate also like what will be the odds of oxygen requirement in case of a smoker. All of you please calculate what will be the odds of oxygen requirement in case of a smoker. Oxygen requirement one is yes and zero is no. So all of you please write in the chat box. Odds of oxygen requirement in case of smoker, it will be 10 by 48. Can we take this 10? So it is the 10 by 48. Similarly, the odds of oxygen requirement in non-smoker will be 38 by 84. And if you take the ratio of these two values, it will come to 0.461. Okay, and this is the 95% confidence interval. Since it is crossing one, you can say that this is not significant. Now coming to the relative risk. So uh, in uh, SPSS, both these values come together. But here, you can choose the option of clicking either the odds ratio or the relative risk. So for relative risk, I started with exposure status and the exposure status was the steroid. So the person who was taking steroid at the time of admission, 
and then the outcome is the maybe uh, what is what was the outcome whether it was discharge or death so in that case what i'll do i will shift this to so this was the steroid so in row i'll move this steroid and outcome i have moved here to the column and again you can see the status so you can say the people who were taking steroid 48% of the people died whereas 4.5 sorry 4.8% death was only 4.8% whereas the people who were not taking steroids it was 18.6% and i have not clicked that relative risk so this relative risk value is 0.855 so this relative risk is the relative risk of not requiring uh, i mean getting uh, not no, getting discharge who were taking steroid so this 0.855 and it, this was significant because it is not crossing one and you can calculate also with this 2 by 2 table this relative risk and odds ratio so the risk of death in case of person who is not taking steroid will be 22 divided by 118 and the risk of death in people who are taking steroid will be 3 by 62 so if you calculate this it will come and again you have to see in this case it gives you with the higher category this relative risk so you can calculate this and you can see this is a homework for all of you so this 81.4 will be in the numerator and 95.2 will be in the denominator and so this gives you the relative risk of death in uh, people who were taking uh, discharge okay mm -hmm.